Did you know that as you watch this video, your brain is quietly filling up with waste? Toxic proteins are accumulating in the spaces between your neurons, the very same proteins linked to Alzheimer's disease. The amazing part though, is that your brain has a built-in solution. Each night while you're asleep, your brain cells shrink, that extra space allows a clear fluid to flow in, wash through the brain and carry the waste away. The trouble is, many of us are blocking this process without even knowing it. Let me just give you an example. Back in the 1940s, only about 3% of people slept fewer than five hours. Today, it's one in five, 20%. And when we cut back on sleep, we're basically shutting down the brain's most important maintenance system, which can mess with your memory, slow your thinking, and even raise your chances of Alzheimer's disease. So what is this cleaning system and how does it work? The brain has always been an enigma for scientists. For decades, we knew the rest of our body has a lymphatic system that clears out toxins. But for a long time, the brain didn't seem to have one. There was no obvious pipeline for waste. This baffled scientists. But then in 2012, while studying mice, researchers noticed something remarkable. They noticed a clear liquid, cerebrospinal fluid, moving along tiny hidden channels in the brain during sleep. It flowed into the spaces between brain cells, then flowed back out, taking with it waste. That waste included the same proteins that later pile up in Alzheimer's disease, that is beta amyloid and tau. This is a brain's very own plumbing system. Scientists called it the glymphatic system. But the most interesting discovery wasn't just that it existed, it was that it only really worked at night. So let's look at what actually happens. Sleep it's not just closing your eyes and waking up in the morning. A lot happens. Sleep runs in repeating cycles of about 90 minutes. During the deepest stage, called N3, brain activity slows and brain cells themselves shrink, opening up more room between them. That extra space turns narrow alleys into open streets. Cerebrospinal fluid flows through like a wash, sweeping out the waste that builds up during the day. In animal experiments, the space between cells widens by more than 60% during sleep, and beta amyloid is cleared about twice as fast compared to the awake state. In humans, a single night of sleep drops amyloid levels by an average of 6% by morning. Yet on the flip side, even one night without sleep leads to significantly higher concentrations of toxins in the brain. That tells us something important. The brain isn't just resting at night, it's busy cleaning. And the timing of that cleaning matters more than people realize. Because here's the catch, those deep sleep cleaning sessions happen most in the first half of the night. By morning, the cleaning cycles are shorter and sometimes they vanish completely. So when you stay up late, you're not just cutting sleep time, you're interfering with your brain's cleaning schedule. And this brings us to the world we live in today. Modern life has made it more difficult than ever to keep the brain's night shift on schedule. Bright screens in the evening trick the brain into thinking the sun is still out. Late nights confuse internal clock, and chronic stress floods your system with hormones that interfere with the brain's flow. Lack of sleep, or poor quality of sleep, causes more than just grogginess. Studies following thousands of people found that those who consistently slept under six hours had about a 30% higher risk of dementia. Poor sleep quality alone raised Parkinson's risk by more than 70%. And more than 50 million Americans now struggle with chronic sleep disorders. So if your nightly cleaning is that important, what else can stop it from working? Some of the obstacles are obvious, but some are hidden. With age, things slow down, and that includes the lymphatic system, which makes healthy habits even more important as we grow older. Even mild head injuries can bend or block the fluid flow in the brain. Chronic inflammation damages the supporting cells that guide the flow. Without enough hydration, the brain simply doesn't have enough fluid to run the rinse. And then alcohol can devastate deep sleep, cutting it by up to 40%. And the biggest harm of all is inconsistency. When you switch your bedtime night after night, the brain never knows when to begin the cleaning. 
But here's the encouraging part. Once you know the enemies, you can create the conditions that let the cleaning happen at full power. It all begins with timing. You should aim to be in bed latest between 10 and 11 p.m. to match the brain's natural rhythm. The environment also matters. Keep a cool, dark, and quiet room. It'll signal to the body it's time to sleep. And of course, you've heard it before, no screens an hour before bed to let melatonin rise naturally. Interestingly, position helps as well. Studies suggest that side sleeping allows better brain drainage than lying on your back. But it's not just what you do at night, it's what you do during the day that sets up the brain for cleaning. For example, just 20 minutes of movement a day improves circulation, and circulation helps pump fluid at night. Slow breathing before bed calms the nervous system, and according to studies, influences fluid flow directly. Stress management adds to the effect. Mindfulness and meditation have been shown to cut stress hormones by 40%, hormones that otherwise shut down the flow of the system. And steady hydration during the day will allow your body to make the right amount of fluid for the wash. Even small changes like cutting caffeine after lunch, dimming screens, and limiting alcohol can make all the difference. Remember that during the day, your brain is the most expensive organ, using about 20% of your body's total energy. The heavy work leaves behind trash. At night, when activity slows, energy shifts to cleaning. The cells shrink, the space is open, and trash is flushed away. Night after night, that wash keeps you sharp. Year after year, it may protect your memory, your clarity, and even your independence. Large population studies show that sleep habits in midlife will echo into your 80s. So when you think about sleep, don't think of it as wasted time. Think of it as the brain's most important maintenance shift. You don't need to be perfect or buy this or that supplement or follow questionable online advice. You just need steady habits that let your body do its thing. So let me ask you, what makes a regular bedtime hardest for you? Share it in the comments. I'd love to hear your experience. And if you found this helpful, subscribe for more clear, science-backed ways to keep your brain healthy.